All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. All right, tonight we're going to do an unboxing. I uh, finished On Golden Shores by Chuck Pinson. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I just finished On Golden, Golden Shores by Chuck Pinson. I posted a whip in chat earlier today. There you go. It is beautiful. So, yeah. And I kitted it down, put the drills away, sticker sheet with it, and I just used storage boxes. So, how bright is this going to be? Okay. Yeah, I just turned a disc light on. Okay. So. This will, I do fairly detailed unboxings on here. So this is the next canvas, whip and chat canvas I'm going to be working on. So diamond art club, round, and it is I am, okay, by Ravine Phelan. Fly so there it feeling. Okay. Diamond shape round. Twenty inches by twenty-eight inches, fifty-one centimeters by seventy-one centimeters. And if you see this A B on the box or on the schematic, there will be an at least one A B or maybe a couple. Okay, so you can also tell that this is around by the purple, and obviously, yeah, Diamond Art Club always says round or square. This line would be blue, and it would be like a blue square on the box. Yep, it's on the side, tells you around, Diamond Art Club. How it works, kind of shows you on the back of the box there. How to diamond paint. Okay, you started. All right, so yeah, pretty detailed. Do my best. I may move the phone off the stand just to kind of give you a good idea of what you're getting. This is an older kit, but it's okay. So, opening the box and hitting the camera. All right, so on opening the box, okay, out comes a bag, a branded bag, Diamond Air Club, do what makes you sparkle, you're a little, uh, <clears throat> catchphrase, okay, sticker sheet, oh, this is what I'll show at the beginning of every whip and chat. So, Diamond Art Clubs, I am, by Ravine Phelan. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Okay, pretty cool. Just what I said on the front label. Okay, and then there's that A, B again. So, A, B stands for Aurora Borealis. I'll keep saying that too, so. This is your first kit you've ever seen from Diamond Art Club, or first diamond pin. So, 29 colors in this, listed, and the symbols that will correspond to the canvas that we're, well, I'm going to show everything, so. Okay, so anything under 150, any DMC, basically diamond color, or drill color, uh, will be an AB, will be in an Aurora Borealis uh, drill, and yeah, we'll see 129 and 137, so two ABs, and they're numbered 1 and 2. Okay, so we'll just, you, yeah, this is an older kit, but newer kits now have, uh, these labels are bigger and they separate 
this whole sheet's a sticker. But yeah. When I go to kit up, I'll just use this as a guide. And I usually write the DMC numbers on my storage containers. I use these for on Golden Shores and uh, the world I used to know, etc., etc. So, yeah. Okay, so there you go. Gives you a good idea. All right, set that aside. Uh, anything else in here? All right, a couple more things. All right, so there's a smaller sticker that you can. Uh, used to label the box, like uh, the cardboard box here that the canvas came in, or you can keep a record of uh, that you worked on this in like a log book, etc. Yep, round, who it's by, what it's titled, the dimensions in inches and centimeters. So, yep, and this is a sticker. Yep, it's a sticker. I generally just let those hang around. <laughs> okay, I'll set those aside. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay, so. Probably seen. Okay, so a square tool kit. This is your tool kit. Round tool kit contents. Magical applicator. Comfort grip. Two wax pads. A craft tray in a multi-placer. Okay, I'll just show you the components. Okay, so, yeah, this is your first kit. Um, this is the first kit you've seen, maybe. It's all good. Uh, I just like breaking it down. Okay, so, applicator pen. Two wax. Okay, and when you get these waxes, two hard shaped wax, you get these waxes, there'll be a plastic cover on them, I think, for the most part. Yep, both sides. Yep. Okay, so there's a plastic cover. Oops. Yep, see? On both sides. So, to get the wax, yeah, just peel off the plastic cover and then with the end of the pen, press it into the wax, and then press the wax down with your finger to put the wax in the end of the pen. Okay, yeah. <laughs> or else you won't get the wax otherwise. Okay. So this is a pen grip. Each kit, uh, each Diamond Art Club kit gives you exactly what you need. The colors of the grips and the colors of the applicator pen may vary, or diamond painting pen, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know how good this is going to go. <laughs> it's not exactly going on very smooth. Might even end up wrecking it for all I know. Okay, but anyway, it's to really yank on that to get it on. And yeah, I just tore it, man. It's okay. I'll just chuck it, but that's what you get out of the kit. <laughs> okay. Uh, Multi-placer. And that just goes in. You can insert it in the end of your pen. Let's put it on there. Ah, there's only a chunk out of all that grip. It's okay. <laughs> well, you Okay, but whatever. Okay, then um, they give you uh, baggies uh, to store your drills in. So for like storage, I use these for uh, kitting down. Yeah, kitting up yeah, those storage containers that I showed you. One of those. Uh, it's probably plenty of bags, but yeah, the number of these bags varies, but that's okay. All right. Let's spend half an hour on the kit <laughs> on the <laughs> yeah. what you get but hey detail 
This is a Diamond Arc club kit, but yeah, pretty standard kit. So it should come, yeah, each uh, canvas from Diamond Arc Club or any other company should uh, give you this kit. Uh, the only difference between round and square canvas is that there'd be a pair of tweezers in here. Yeah, but since this is around, no tweezers. So, okay, now let's set that aside, dude. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, set this box aside. <clears throat> I myself usually keep the box. Okay, it's gonna be crinkling. So, sealed up canvas. I generally don't keep the bag. Really, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll just chuck that. I'm doing this canvas next, so it's okay. You can keep the bag if you want. <laughs> totally up to you. Okay, so this is the top of the canvas. Okay. All right, so just gonna lift you off the stand here. Okay. Gonna cause glare. See ya. Okay, so this is the top of Diamond Art Club canvas. Uh. There's special stitching on the top here to prevent fray. Okay, yeah, all on top and bottom. You have your cover material and the adhesive is on, oops, yeah, the adhesive is really good. Clear cover. You can uh, always replace this cover with OPEG covers if you prefer. Yeah. Yep. Backside of Diamond Art Clubs are very soft. It's a very, very soft material. And I don't know if we'll be able to catch it on camera here. Kind of like a sparkle throughout the canvas material. But yeah, nice little sensual details. Okay, so do you want to make you sparkle Diamond Art Club? Their logo. This is the top. Okay, kind of showed you, yeah, the schematics here. Okay, generally, if you unroll, Diamond Art Club canvas. It flattens within a couple minutes. You may see wrinkles. Yeah, the odd wrinkle being that's just the cover. Yeah, that's just the plastic cover. And Diamond Art Club uh, canvases are poured glue. So if you really wanted to, you could roll this backwards. Put you back up here for a sec. Yep, here are the drills. They're rolled in. And step by stripe instructions. So if you're starting out, each Diamond Art Club kit has this, unless you bought it used and somebody threw it in. Yeah, and if you buy a kit from somebody else, the lifetime warranty is uh, null and void. Just so you know, if you get it secondhand. But if you're the original owner, which I am for this, if there's anything missing from your kit or drills are damaged, you can uh, contact Diamond Art Club for uh, replacement drills or if you need to replace your canvas, you'll have to speak to them. Contact other, their support if anything comes up. It's usually a good policy to open up your kit 
and check the components to see if everything's there. Check your sticker sheet. Yeah, make sure you have all the right colors, but yeah, we'll go through that. Okay, so step-by-step -step instructions. Thank you for your purchase. Just a message from the founder. And nine steps on how to diamond paint. Yep, so that's on your canvas. Peel back the film covering the pre-applied adhesive. Identify a symbol on the canvas you would like to work on. Locate the symbol and corresponding color code on the legend. Identify the diamond bag. Yeah, which we'll go through. Uh, pour the diamonds into the included tra craft tray. Which is... One of these. Yeah, tray. <laughs> Get one on every kit. They usually have a funnel. Alright. And there's the heart-shaped wax. Press the tip of the magic applicator into the wax of the diamond painting pen. Remember, lifting the corner of the plastic to, yeah, pressing the tip of the pen into to get the wax into the tip. Use the magic applicator to pick up the faceted side of the diamond. So the faceted side is kind of the dome, like where the plastic is kind of cut. I can probably show you later when the, we go through the drills. Okay, number eight, place the diamond in onto the corresponding symbol of the canvas. So, and then when finished, frame your masterpiece and hang it up. I think sometimes some people just uh, pin up the entire canvas and not necessarily have to frame it. Okay, uh, thank you, 10 discount code is in this little booklet. You can use it at checkout on the Diamond Art Club website. And here you go. Our canvas comes with a lifetime warranty and a free missing diamonds protection from Diamond Art Club. Their website, uh, Instagram at Diamond Art Club. You can communicate with them there. And Facebook, Diamond Art Club, or social media. So, yep every kit. Most people probably throw them out if they have a duplicate kit or more than one kit, but I like showing everything. Okay, so to make sure you have the right kit, 845RABIM and all the drills you should need. Some, yeah, we'll definitely go through the drills. Do a color parade. Lots of vibrant colors. Really cool. Rounds. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna grab the phone again. Let's lift you up. And we'll look at the canvas and then get yeah. just gonna move really slow here. Okay. So this schematic will look familiar. Or legend as they call it. Schematic legend, same thing. Okay, so up here, okay, so remember the code on the bag of the drills? Okay, 845R, A, B, so yeah, okay, and if you look, model number, this is the top left hand corner of the canvas. DIC, A45R, AB. So, go to match. So, you have the right package of drills. So, see it's the name of the canvas, the size, 20 by 28 inches, 51 by 71. Also on the sticker sheet and on the outside of the box. Okay, so, another word for legend is schematic. So this is physically on the canvas. Uh, left upper left hand side and there's a schematic or legend on the bottom right hand side. I'll show you both. Okay so the picture and 
this all too familiar DMC code and legend. The two ABs are at the top, 129-137, Aurora Borealis, and the symbols and their corresponding drill colors. Uh, some pretty standard symbols for Diamond Art Club, for sure. Oops, sorry for the glare. Okay, pretty cool. Nothing really too confusing. Yeah, probably as I scroll down the legend here, you will see the symbols pretty clearly. Okay, here you go. Okay, so zoom. Okay, here's a sample of... This is along the top. Okay, sorry if I'm going too fast. Okay, so nice clear lines, nice clear symbols. The adhesive is really sticky. This is about the dragon's back. I'll zoom out a little bit. Symbol clarity is great. The adhesive is good. A couple of wrinkles on the plastic, but you can always just readjust the plastic cover. Okay. All right, so what were the A, Bs? Number one, 129. And number two. Okay. So, number two. Oops. So, number two is an A, B. That's an outline. Oh, and there's some number ones. This is the top of the dragon's head. Okay. Very okay. Let's see if we can find some more number ones. Ah, okay, this is about the dragon's throat or chest, if you would prefer. Okay, so this is one of the other ABs, number one. So it's going to be a uh, details on the chest here. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom out so you get an idea. So, around here. Number one, AB, and number two, I think it's gonna be like a blue, and it's an outline, uh, maybe the dragon's horns, and all that, there you go. Okay, yeah, kinda got that canvas. Yep, there you go, nice view of the canvas. I'll just kinda move this up a bit. Okay. There you go. Okay. As clawed hands, it's holding a flame. Yeah. Basically, a lot of the fire in its chest are going to have ABs. Number one, for sure. Alright. So, a lot of yellows. There's reds in here, I believe. And then, yep. Yeah. Okay, so here's the other legend. This is the bottom right hand corner of the canvas. And same legend as I showed you before that we zoomed in on. Okay. Yeah, except there's no picture. Yeah, no reference picture of the piece, but yeah, same legend. Okay, so that's the canvas. Pretty cool. A little, it's a little different. It's not a landscape. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flip this. So, yeah. cool. It's basically lying down flat. All right. Sorry for crinkling. Here, I'll do it to the side. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, these don't necessarily come in order. <laughs> How many strands are we talking here? Oh, just a couple trains. Okay. So, I'll show you the colors in no particular order. Okay. 
how am I going to do this? So, here, I'll go this way. Okay, so here we go. 321. Okay, so to explain faceted. Okay, so faceted is... I really don't want to open these drills right now, but... Okay, so the faceted side is the domed, the not flat part of the drill. I don't know how I can point those out. Pretty good. This is quite a <laughs> drill. Is pretty uh, your drill facing up. Okay, so basically the faceted side is uh, the dome kind of shape. Yeah, I can't really show this too good. Of the drill. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show it very good, but we're going to pick up the wax. It's, yeah, basically the side that's not flat and then the flat edge of the drill uh, goes onto the adhesive. So yeah, pretty cool drills. Do what makes you sparkle. <clears throat> okay, so well, let's go through the drills. 321. All right, 740. Nice, vibrant orange. Okay, 740. Okay, 823. Another 823. Kind of maybe a very dark blue. Cool, tons of it. Probably background. 814. Really good. It's another 814. Right. 666. That's a really cool red. That was a, in my previous kit. And quite a bit of it in that bag. So, yep, yeah, 666. Yeah, you can always double check your legend, but that's 666. So that's pretty common with Diamond Air Club. 947 or 947 I'd, I'll just say okay 336 see it really dark blue 742 a lighter orange okay. and I'm back ah sorry yeah, 742. Yep. 3,371 or 3,371. People say the colors differently. Okay, 741. A lot of oranges, reds, 498. All right, it's first string. Okay, all right, second string. In no particular order. Four ninety eight. Okay. Mm. Darker red. Eight fifteen. Mm. A lot of reds in this one. Oh, that's cool. Yep, a second eight fifteen. Yep. Okay, here's one of our ABs, Aurora Borealis. Okay, you can see the extra shimmery. Okay, there you go. There's a facet. See how it's sparkling by my thumb there, by my thumbnail? That's the faucet side of the drill. And by my nail again, where I'm pointing, that's the flat side that you put onto the adhesive. There you go. 
Okay, so that's an AB. It's under 150. 939. It's a black, commonly. Okay, cool yellow, 444. 726. Nice yellow is in this one. Oh, cool. There's at least a purple or two in here. 550. That's cool. Okay, 445. Nice kind of buttery yellow there. Oh, and here's the second AB. 129. And it's a yellow. Light yellow. And you have that extra shimmer. Okay, 606. 917. Three twelve. These drills are pretty good, actually. So. Okay, three twenty-seven. It's purple. Three thousand six hundred and seven, or thirty-six oh seven. Six hundred. Yep. <laughs> so, the less drills you see in a bag, you probably won't need very much of this particular color, but you should have enough to be able to do your kit. 3837. 3755. Oops, sorry. 3841, or 3841. And 906, last but not least. That's, I love that. I love the greens. Wow, not very much there, but yeah, it's part of the picture. So, there you go. There's the drills. Pretty cool. Sorry, kind of putting them back in the bag, but not really too good. Okay, let's flip this canvas over here. Just for a second. Okay, let's see if we could. Uh, we'll do one more overview. So, top, do a mix of sparkle, schematic. Legend on the left hand side, upper left. Drill overall, or canvas overall. Oof, English. Okay. Alright, second legend. The camera arm. <laughs> Magic. Okay, yep. Okay, and along here, this is the bottom. So, here we are. This is the bottom of the canvas, and they're very generous with the cover, plastic cover. Scalloped edges, this is, yeah, there you go. Scalloped edges all around. So there you go. Okay, so if you lost that booklet that I showed you earlier, they have their facebook.com slash diamond art club. They have a page that you can like and Instagram and they encourage you to share your artwork proud of your masterpiece use hashtag diamond art club to be featured on, on our social media visit us on Facebook and Instagram where you can share your work and see what everyone else has done too so Mr. Crochet and Coffee's diamond painting group or any other I don't know, diamond painting group or craft related groups, you can show your artwork on there too. You can show these Diamond Art Club kits on there. Because uh, Crafters Anonymous with uh, Miss Coffee and Rachel Ray, hopefully I have the, well, they're the two admins anyway. I'm part of that group, it's pretty cool. Uh, diamond Art Club sponsors them, so. But that doesn't mean you can't show like a Dreamers Designs canvas or et cetera, or any, any other. All crafts are welcome. Okay, so these are on the bottom of basically any other canvases. Larger paintings are preferred for less clarity. Smaller paintings cannot be as detailed. Diamond Art Club basically hand maps out uh, 
these canvases that I know of. So, yeah. <laughs> and they're sized specifically to uh, give you the best quality for the canvas. So, there you go. Okay, browse over 300 plus unique designs at diamondairclub.com and use code TAKE10 for 10% off your next purchase. So, there's another discount code. Alright. Lifetime warranty. Stamped on every canvas. This is on the bottom yet again. Your canvas comes with a lifetime warranty and a free missing diamonds production from Diamond Art Club. And there's their support email. Support at diamondartclub.com. This is on the bottom of your canvas. And as I mentioned earlier, if you got this bought this kid second hand off of somebody, this lifetime warranty is voided. Yeah, just so you know. Yeah, just kind of a heads up. So you probably have to contact the seller to see if he can get replacement drills maybe or buy drills from an online, I don't know, shop or ask a couple diamond painting buddies to see if they have an extra set of drills for you. But yeah, other than that, that's basically a unboxing of a I Am by Ravine Phelan. And yeah, this is the complete kit. Canvas. Comes with a cover. The adhesive. And the drills. Everything you need. Okay, so thank you for watching. And uh, this will be next whip and chat piece. So, yep. Finished on Golden Shores by Chuck Pinson, which I showed at the beginning of this. So, I'm going to kit this up tomorrow. I just might do a partial kit up for a whip and chat. Spend as much time with the community as possible, but yeah, this is a general Diamond Art Club kit. Sizes and uh, artwork may vary, but this was designated as a round canvas, round drill canvas, to suit the artwork best. So there are some square uh, diamond canvases, specific ones. You'll just have to check out diamondartclub.com or secondhand sellers. But yeah, just remember that warranty thing for secondhand sellers. If you bought it yourself and it's shipped to your house, your address firsthand, then you're covered for the warranty. So yeah, but it looks like everything's in order here. And um, yep, showed you where a couple discount codes are. Okay, and yet another 10% off is on every one of their boxes. Just need a QR code scanning software or app on your phone. Take a picture of it or something, and then you can unlock 10% off and yeah, that'll probably give you like a discount code, but you can only use one code per order, so. But anyways, as always, um, when I put my Facebook profile uh, name in the description, uh, my Echoes of Color Facebook business page, it's just a companion to this channel, and my Instagram, which will be listed down below. Uh, basically the Facebook business page and my Instagram just kind of give updates about Echoes of Color, the channel here. So yeah, and I'll post progress, uh, pictures as I go along. I posted a finished photo of On Golden Shores onto Instagram and, uh, 
my Echo is a color page respectively. So I update it every once in a while, but it's not in constant everyday update. So, all right. So have a great day. All the best with any of your crafting endeavors. And uh, see you next time for sure for a future weapon chat for this. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs>